Hello, buzz. This is your girl, Nikita Nikita Shanae, and welcome back to the channel. So, today I just kind of want to show you guys some of the products that I picked up at the Sephora VIB sale. I am a rude, I don't know, but anyway, I get the 20% off. So, it was from, I know it started on the 31st, and I think it went to the 1st or the 2nd or something like that. So, I actually picked up my uh, products on Halloween. And I'm just going to show you guys the products that I purchased. So if you purchased any of these products, please let me know if you already had these products before the VIB sale and you tried them and you liked them, please let me know because I'm really, really curious on one of the products that I purchased because I was just kind of iffy on it. So let's get started. <laughs> All right, so the first thing, we're going to go with foundation. So I kind of already opened up my boxes because I'm not trying to struggle on camera like not today, say not today. All right. So the first thing I got was the uh, NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I got the color Marquise. So it looks like this. So I got this color. Um, I already used this. So my thoughts will be in another video. But um, so the, I purchased this simply because I wanted a sheer foundation. Um, some of my foundations that I feel like are more medium to full coverage. And with this one, I feel like I can share it out with a beauty blender. And like I said, before I purchased this, this is my first purchase ever of this foundation. I've been doing my research on it and people have been telling me that it's really, really good for dry skin. So that was another plus of why I picked this up. And the fact that again, it's sheer. You can even share it out using a beauty blender. So the only thing I can actually say that I don't like about this product is the fact that it does have it doesn't have a pump. So you actually like like I was when I first tried like I'm like like this constantly you know dabbing on the back of my hand. I don't like that. So, but they do um, make a fix for this. So I don't know if Nars sell like the the pumps that you can put on this, but I definitely know Max sell them. So I'm definitely gonna get a pump for this because it is very much needed. Do you hear me? All right, so the next thing I got is the Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation. Um, I got the color Y528. So I don't know where my top two, this foundation is because I tried this foundation on. This is actually the foundation I'm currently rocking, giving you looks today. So I purchased this one um, because, again, I don't have that many makeup foundation, makeup forever foundations. I have two, and the one is the HD foundation, and the second one is like this makeup forever palette that I currently use like literally every single day and I have this in my collection and I think this one right here retail for like $110 so any MUAs out there or, or inspiring MUAs that kind of got money to kind of throw into your collection I would definitely highly highly suggest this foundation palette they tend to sell out a lot so whenever you see it please pick it up um it's $110 you can go on Sephora and get it Matter of fact, that probably would have been a good 20% off. But you can go on Sephora, get it. I think you can go on Make a Forever uh, website and get it. And then um, it's another website I listed here below that they usually have these in stock. So, again, I just kind of purchased this because I did have the HD foundation. And I love that foundation. The only thing I can say about the foundation is the fact that it the price point was like $43 versus this was $39. I mean, it's not that big, but... When you're trying to buy like a lot of them for your kid, like that that palette is way better. Um, and it was red to me. So I didn't get like a good feel of the HD foundation. But keep uh, looking out for the video that I will show you how, what my thoughts of this foundation is. Alright, so the last foundation I purchased is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. Um, I got the color Maquise and this is well. So, I was kind of on the fence about this foundation simply because I've been hearing a lot of people talk about this foundation that has dry skin and saying that it, like, does not help with dry skin. Um, and when I went to the store, I was in between Maki and Marquise, and I was like, I'm just going to stick with Marquise uh, because it's a little bit darker. You guys don't know, I prefer to be darker than lighter. So, I definitely uh, picked up the darker one, and then she told me, which made me decide... Well, made me even more be like, yeah, I'm not going to try it. Um, she told me to apply this with your fingers. If you guys have this foundation, please let me know how you apply this foundation. Do you prefer with fingers or do you actually use a brush or a beauty blender? I'm not a fan of applying my foundation with my fingers whatsoever. 
And when she told me that, I was like, yeah, I don't think I want to get that. Like, literally, I don't want to get it. And then I was at the counter, actually checked out with all my other purchases. And she was like, just try. She was like, you're going to love it. And she was like, if you love the creamy, radiant concealer, you're going to love this. And baby, when I tell you I love the creamy, radiant concealer, that's probably like one of my go-to uh, concealers. I love it. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. Plus, if I don't like the worst thing, I mean, that'd be the worst, but I can always take it back. So, I was like, I'm going to go ahead and try. Plus, they have been sold out of Macchiato and Marquise for like the longest. So I was like, I'm going to go ahead and cop that while I can. All right. So, moving on to palettes. So, the first palette that I got was the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam 2 palette. I purchased this because... One, I honestly thought I had this palette in my collection. I really do think I got this palette in my collection. But I wanted to do, uh, because I am currently going to do a soft glam look like a wedding series. Because I know a lot of people that's getting married and don't want to pay, pay that much money to have an MUA do their makeup. So, and they like to play in makeup. So, hey. So, I got this one. Um, it has eight colors. I think one, two, three, four. One, four, five matte colors and like two shimmery or maybe three shimmery. I don't even know what. This is like a set. It's a matte color as well. So six matte colors, two shimmer colors. Um, So I was kind of in between buying the small one and the bigger one. But the colors that I liked in the bigger palette uh, is the same colors in the small one. Plus to me, I feel like this is travel friendly because your girl's going to be traveling next year. So I wanted something that I can actually kind of keep compact and put into my uh, traveling bag. So I did pick up this and be stay tuned because I will be doing looks with this palette. Especially for my ladies who uh, want like a soft glam look or even just like a wedding look. Alright, so the next palette I got um, is the Makeup by Mario. This is the Master Matte palette. This is literally new to Sephora. Um, this is Kim Kardashian West, uh, makeup artist. He kind of branched out and he started his own little, you know, um, makeup line. So I picked up this to one support, to support him. And two, like you cannot go wrong with a good matte palette. Like if you want to sell me anything, sell me all mattes because your girl loves mattes, especially these browns, these earth tone browns. Oh my gosh. I love them. So, when I looked at the swatches, the swatches on the dark skin model was freaking phenomenal. I'm pretty sure they probably used, like, some type of light, light lighting that, like, complemented it. But, I'm definitely going to try this out. And, I will definitely give you guys a brown smoky eye coming soon. Alright, the next makeup by Mario thing that I got is the Master Eye Prep in Set. This is pretty much a concealer slash eye palette, a uh, prep, uh, eye prep palette. So pretty much how you use this is, um, you know how people use like painterly paint pots or um, concealers or what's that, uh, P. Louise bases and stuff like that. Like just to kind of conceal your eyelids because some people have dark eyelids, some people veins show through their eyelids. Like mine's is dark and sometimes I just want to be able to have my colors pop a little bit more. So, this is where this palette comes in hand. Um, so, pretty much, you conceal your lid and then you set it with this powder right here. Let me see if I can show you guys. So, that's the powder you kind of set it with. I, I really didn't need this, to be honest, out of all the things that I purchased. I really didn't need any of it, but literally, out of all the things that I purchased, this was probably one that I could have done without because this is just some concealer, like, I have my Makeup Forever concealer. I have my uh, NARS concealer. Like, I have so many different concealers that I can use to prep my lid and prime my lid. So, this was probably, but I'm going to keep it because, again, I'm trying to support. Support, you know? All right, so, I got three more things from <laughs> Makeup by Maria. This is the Master Pigment Pro Pencil, and I got this in the color brown. So, I kind of swatched these on my hand already. So, it has a pencil and then it has like a little brush at the end. So, my thoughts of getting this is pretty much I'm going to do a brown smoky eye. And I wanted to use this as a like base for my lid and just kind of darken my lid up. So, the brown one is this color right here. 
I don't know if you can see it, but it is a soft, creamy brown. Um, I'm hoping that it moves uh, on the eyelid just more than it did in my on my hand. I'm praying that it do, but it's very soft, very creamy. And then, of course, you guys know if I gotta get if I get the brown. Your girl got to get the black because I'm going to do a black look as well. So, let me just get those out. So, this is a black one. Same thing. It's very creamy, very um, soft. And then, it has a brush on the end. So, and then, the last thing by, makeup by Mario I got is the, what is this? It's a brush. It is the EF1 brush. I had to pick up one of the brushes just to kind of see what I like. These brushes are pretty expensive for it to be just a brush. This brush is like $21 or $22. I have like 30,000 freaking brushes in my makeup collection. But I definitely wanted to try this because of the size of the shadow brush. And then this dome uh, crease brush is so freaking soft and fluffy. So I definitely wanted to try that because of that. All right, and then just kind of while I got some of these uh, hair clips because I bought so much makeup by Mario products. All right, so the last thing we're getting into is lip products that I purchased. Um, I'm not a big lipstick fan, but I'm trying to get into the lipsticks. And if I do wear lipstick, it's pretty much either a mauve color, a brown color, or a straight up red color. So um, I've been hearing a lot of good things about the Fenty Beauty um, by Rihanna the, is the stunning lip paint, and I got the color Uncensored. So this is pretty much a pretty, pretty red color. And um, I have the brown one already, and I have not did a look with that one yet, but I know it's very soft, very smooth, very easy to glide on. I just kind of wish it was a little bit more matte, like sticky kind of matte. I don't know. Uh, so anyway, I got the red one, so I'm definitely uh, anxious to do a look with this. So I'm pretty I'm pretty just going to do a bold lip. It's going to be a neutral eye lip with a, with a bold lip. All right, the last three things is from Sephora. I got the, what's this called? Lip Last Matte Lipstick. So I got six, seven, and eight, and I'm going to show you guys these in order. So six is called Sienna. So it is a rustic brown um, lip lipstick, but to me, it kind of come off mauve pinkish a little bit. So that is... The very first one right here, that is Sienna. I think out of all the ones, I definitely love Sienna the most. Um, these are matte, so if you like, if you're looking for a good matte one, definitely look at Sephora. They has they have like 40 of them. Alright, so the next one is uh called Mocha, which is number seven. So Mocha is just a tad bit darker than um Sienna, and Mocha has more of a plum type color like in it to me i feel like it has a gray undertone to it so this is probably my second one that i love and i'm definitely going to be doing looks with these very soon all right and then the next the last one is called uh spice number eight so spice reminds me of like a red wood pumpkin latte kind of look so, it is very red and brown, like brown with red undertones or however you want to say that. So, this is probably like my least favorite one because I don't wear these kind of colors on my lips. But, I'm definitely going to try them because I bought them. Alright. So, that wraps it up for the things that I purchased at my Sephora VIB sale. If you went to the Sephora VIB sale, please tell me the things that you got. And if you guys, if you guys picked up the... NARS foundation tell me how you guys like it especially those who have dry skin or even oily skin just kind of tell me how you apply what what things you use under your foundation and kind of get it to work that the best way that you like using this so yeah and if you use any or if you purchase any of my products that I purchased on this uh, VIB sale just let me know in general how you like those things and if you did not purchase any of these things and you purchased different things, please let me know some of the things that you purchased and the things that you like and the things that you dislike. So, yep, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure, hold on, hold on, skipping too soon. If you have not subscribed to your channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button on the thumbs up and the notification bell to let you know whenever I upload new videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Ciao.